This video explains the concept of the biological standard state. We're going to start this video with a demonstration of how to utilize the chemical standard state, the regular standard state, in the calculation of the reaction Gibbs energy for a particular reaction. Okay, so this particular reaction is going to be a generic hydrolysis in which we have species A uh, reacting with water, which is a liquid, and that is going to generate a product B, which is a solution, and then protons, which we write using the hydronium ion. Uh, it turn, turns out that at 310 Kelvin, the reaction gives energy at the standard state, the chemical standard state, or the regular standard state. This is equal to minus 20.0 kilojoules per mole. And what we would like to do is calculate whether this reaction will be spontaneous or not at certain conditions uh, that are given by the concentrations of each one of the species. For A, that concentration is going to be uh, 1 millimolar. For B, the concentration is also 1 millimolar. And for the concentration of protons, we're going to assume that this reaction takes place inside our bodies, where the pH is tightly controlled, and the pH is going to be uh, about 7.4. Right, which is a typical pH, for example, in blood. And that means that the concentration of the protons is going to be 3.98, 10 to the minus 8 molar. Okay. Those will be uh, reasonable conditions, again, under uh, um, in a living cell, for example. All right, so um, what we're going to do then is try to calculate whether this reaction is spontaneous by computing the reaction gives energy at these concentrations. And the way that we do, we do this is to write here uh, the expression that allows us to do that. The reaction gives energy is equal going, it's going to be equal to the reaction gives energy at the standard state plus uh, the correction that takes into consideration the uh, reaction quotient. Okay, this reaction quotient uh, we can write for this process as simply uh, the activity of products, which is the activity of B minus, uh, the activity of protons, the activity over the activity of reagents, which is A. Uh, times the activity of water, but water is a liquid and is the only liquid in the reaction, so this is simply going to be equal to 1. Okay? Uh, the stoichiometric coefficients are all, all 1, uh, so this means that the powers of these activities are also going to be 1. All right, now we're going to replace this by um, the concentrations. All right, so uh, this will mean that here we have to write concentration of B minus over the concentration of B minus at the standard state times the concentration of protons over the concentration of protons at the standard state over the concentration of reagent A concentration of reagent A at the standard state and then times 1. Okay. Uh, so now that you have written uh, here how the activities are mapped into uh, useful measures of concentration we can go ahead and then plug in the data uh, to see where the numbers are going to turn out to be. Okay, so uh, delta RT is going to be equal to minus 20.0 kilojoules per mole uh, plus the R constant in kilojoules per mole then the temperature is 310 Kelvin and then we have here the natural log of uh, these concentrations, the, the ones that we actually have in the reaction mixture. Okay, so for B minus, that will be 1 millimolar, 1.010 to the minus 3 molar divided over the uh, standard state concentration, which is 1 molar. For protons, that will be 3.98, 10 to the minus 8 molar over the reference concentration, which is 1 molar. And then for uh, A, we also have 1.0, 10 to the minus 3 uh, molar over 1 molar multiplied by 1. Right, so this is enough to plug into the calculator and uh, when we plug this in the calculator we find that this number is equal to minus 63.9 kilojoules per mole. Okay, the important thing here is this uh, minus sign that tells you that this reaction will be spontaneous and because the LTG is related to the maximum non-expansion work, the maximum non-expansion work that you could get out of this reaction 
uh, will be 63.9 kilojoules per mole. Alright, so uh, this is how we have proceeded until now using something that we call the regular or the chemical or simply the standard state. But something that should be uh, uh, shocking to you is that the standard state for protons that we have right here, okay, uh, is actually going to be always very far away from the actual concentration of protons that we have in under living conditions. Notice that a one more concent concentration of protons would mean pH zero. And we know that, uh, again, under living conditions, very rarely you're going to have pHs that are so low. More regularly, for example, in blood, you're going to have pHs that are around 7 or so. All right, so uh, uh, what, what people did in the life sciences is then uh, come up with a new standard state, which is exactly identical to the regular standard state that we have used in this problem, but with the difference that uh, the, concentrations of, uh, the concentration of protons at the biological standard state is not going to be one molar anymore, it's going to be pH 7 or 110 to the minus 7 molar. And again, the hope of uh, using that new biological standard state is that you're going to have values of this uh, delta Rg at the biological standard state that are a little closer uh, uh, to what you expect to find after you, you, you run the calculation, right? So here we have that there's a difference between the biological standard state, sorry, between the standard state and uh, the actual delta G uh, of the process, which is very different, about 44 kilojoules per mole. And again, the main, the main, con uh, the main reason that these, these are very different is because the actual concentration of proteins that you have in the reaction mixture is very different from the standard state concentration of proteins, one molar or p zero. Okay, so that's, that's again what gives rise to what we call the biological standard state. The way that we denote this is um, using delta Rd, but now this symbol is going to have a plus sign in it as opposed to a minus sign. Okay, so that will be the biolog biological standard state. The reaction gives energy for this reaction at the uh, biological standard state happens to be minus 61.5 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so what we can actually do then is uh, uh, try to recalculate uh, this problem, but now using the biological standard state route, uh, which is going to give us uh, hopefully the same uh, same number that we actually had. Uh, so let's see how we would operate with the biological standard state. And the idea is that. Now you can rewrite the same equation that we had before. Delta Rg is going to be delta Rg for reference plus Rt natural log of Q. But instead of using here the standard state, we're going to be using the data at the biolo biological standard state, which is denoted with a plus. And then for clarity, we can write also this reaction quotient is going to be a plus, it's going to have a biological standard state symbol uh, in it. Okay, so then uh, how, do, how do we proceed? Well, uh, the procedure will be exactly the same, right? So you, uh, you would write here delta Rg uh, plus Rt natural log. Well, you would first write the, uh, the Q, uh, which would mean uh, the activities first. I'm going to step that, uh, I'm going to skip that step. And instead right here, uh, the concentration of B minus that you have over the concentration of B minus at the biological center state times the concentration of protons over the concentration of protons at the biological standard state plus concentration of A over concentration of A at the biological standard state times 1. Okay. Right, so now we're actually ready to plug in here the data for the biological standard state. Okay. The reaction gives synergy at the biological standard state is provided by the statement. Okay, so we're going to have here delta Rg is going to be equal to minus 61.5 kilojoules per mole plus uh, our R in kilojoules per mole Kelvin, 8314 kilojoules per mole Kelvin, temperature 310 Kelvin, and uh, now we actually we have to write uh, the reaction quotient at the biological at the biological standard state. Okay. Again, notice that the only difference between the regular or or chemical standard state is that all of the molar concentrations will are one molar. Okay. The reference concentrations are all one molar. In the biological standard state, all of the molar concentrations are still one molar, except for those of protons, which is p at seven or one times ten to the minus seven molar. Okay, so when we come to this expression, we will get that 
the concentration of B is still 1.010 to the minus 3 molar. Okay, and the concentration of B at the, at the biological standard state is 1 molar because B is not protons, it's a different species. Now, for protons, we will have that this is going to be the actual concentration that you have, 3.98, 10 to the minus 8 molar, and this is the difference. Now, this concentration of protons at the biological standard state is not 1 molar, instead it's pH 7, or 1, 10 to the minus 7 molar. Okay, and for A, we have the same thing as for B. Those concentrations are 1, 10 to the minus 3, but then the concentration at the biological standard state is equal to 1 molar, times the activity of water, which is 1. Okay? So then when you plug in these numbers in your calculator, you get exactly the same number as what we did before. Okay, so this number is going to be equal to minus 63.9 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so uh, again, this problem presents two ways to solve uh, the same problem. One is using uh, the chemical or standard state, and then the one is a new concept, which is using the biochemical standard state or the biological standard state. Again, the only difference, uh, the, the way that we use these two uh, uh, standard states is just for convenience, right? So when we actually use conditions that are inside your body, it's much more convenient to use the biological standard state because, again, it makes no sense to have a, concent a reference concentration for protons that is pH zero because that's never going to be the case, uh, right? So you're going to be much closer if you use a, a pH that is 10 to the minus 7, so that's what determines what the biological standard state. That is that solving it one way or the other doesn't matter. You're actually going to get exactly the same results. Okay, again, we just go through, uh, through the biological standard state for convenience. Uh, and the only thing that you have to remember is that, again, the concentrations and the partial pressure of gases, if you had any gases here, uh, would all be the same for uh, any substance that is not a proton. And for protons, that's the only difference that you find. Uh, you will have that in the regular or chemical standard state, that concentration is one molar. But for the biological standard state, the molar concentration of protons okay, would be 1, 10 to the minus 7 molar, which is the same thing as pH 7.